So hopefully, I'm not totally sure it's page 300. It's, it's, uh, I might have made this on the on one of the older versions of the book. So, but it is the start of, it's in section 5.1 and, and they talk about the equation of the circle and they give an example of, you know, a, an equation with the center and the radius and then, excuse me, they give you an example of, uh, of, of the diameter and then it, it's not too bad. It's just, and so you can look at that. Uh, so I'm going to do this question here. Excuse me. I want to find the, uh, I want to find the uh, um, the x-intercepts of a circle that has a, has a center, a radius of six, and is centered at the point uh, two four. So uh, the equation of a circle is x minus the x-coordinate of the center squared plus y minus the y-coordinate of the center squared equals the radius squared, which in this case will be thirty six. Now, if I'm looking for the x-intercepts all the y coordinates are going to be zero. So that leaves me x minus two squared plus zero minus four squared equals 36. So then let's see, I better move this down a little bit so I have some room to write. But then I'm seeing a quadratic equation, right? I, I, so I'm going to see, let's see, what am I going to see? I'm going to see... Uh, x minus 2 times x minus 2, so x squared minus 4x plus 4, and then negative 4, 0 minus 4 is negative 4, and I square that, I get 16. And that equals, what did I say, 36? And it is a quadratic equation, so we have to combine like terms, set it equal to 0, so I'm going to bring the 36 over. So x squared minus 4x, let's see, we got 26. I mean, we got 20 minus 36 is negative 16. And then, let's see, is that right? So 20 minus 36 is negative 16. That equals 0. And then we got to try to factor this thing. Hmm. I'm going to think about this for a minute. So I tried looking at factors of negative 16 that will combine to give me add or, add or subtract actually give me negative four and I couldn't come up with one. So I was thinking it's not gonna it's not gonna factor. I'm probably gonna use the quadratic formula. So I opened up Desmos and I graphed the equation. Sure enough, there are two uh it looks like two irrational values. So we need to find to find those, we need to do the quadratic formula. And of course, you know, at this point now, you know that x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So 4 plus or minus the square root of, let's see, 16 plus 64 is 80 over 2. And square root of 80 is what? 16 times 5. So 4. So I'm, I'm assuming you know how to do this. Uh, 16 times 5 is 80. And the square root of each of those equals the square root of 80. The square root of 16 is 4. So 4 plus or minus 4 root 5 over 2. And then I can divide everything by 2. So it's going to be 2 minus 2 root 5 and 2 plus... 2 root 5, and those, of course, have 0 for coordinates, for the y-coordinates. So those should correspond to the ones I got in Desmos. Okay. Well, what I'm seeing here, I see, I'm see i seeing a center that's centered at the origin. I mean, a circle centered at the origin. So x minus 0 squared is x squared, and y minus 0 squared is y squared. And it has a radius in 3, so we're going to square, square it. And then I know I'm looking for those, the coordinates. I'm looking for the x-coordinates, actually, of those two points, because then I can just, uh, it looks like they're symmetric. I can, probably just, uh, I can probably just double them or make them both positive and add them together. But anyways, I need that distance, don't I? And I know both of those points have coordinates x some x and then y is 2 because it's on that horizontal and y equals 2. So let's substitute in 2 into this equation. So x squared plus 4 equals 9. x squared equals 5. 
So x equals plus or minus the square root of 5, and so that distance will have to be 2 square roots of 5. Whatever that is is the decimal. So that should be that distance. And if you look at it, the square root of 5 is, is a little bit bigger than 2. And if you look at that graph, I could, yeah, that's a little bit bigger. That's a little bit bigger than 2. So, yeah, that's a reasonable answer. Okay, I've got another video that I linked to in, in the flipped classroom about this radio transmitter. This, probably, this gives people a hard time. So I'll just do another video. It might even be the same video. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, so let's see. So we got a radio transmitter broadcast in a 50-mile radius. So that's 50. So I've got an equation. The equation of that circle is is x squared plus y squared, because it's centered at the origin, equals 50 squared, which is what, 2,500 or 25, 2,500, 2,500, right. Now we've got a straight road. Let's see. A road a drive along a line from 60 miles north to 70 miles east. And I've got this line going on here, here. I thought it was going to be able to flip it and do it, do it. So we're looking for how much of that signal, for how much of the drive will be able to pick up the signal. So let's find those two coordinates, and then we'll use the distance formula. So what is this, this these coordinates? Well, let's see. This is the point zero sixty. This is the point seventy zero. So I see a slope of down 6 over 7. And the y-intercept we know is 60. So y equals um, negative 6 over 7 times x plus 60. So since I know y, I can replace x squared plus negative 6 over 7x plus 60 squared has to equal 2,500. Well, I don't know. To me, this is looking pretty, pretty messy. I'm almost thinking I would like to use technology to solve that. Give me a second here and I'm going to throw, but, but I'm going to throw this into Desmos. So throwing, so what I did is I set up a systems of equations I, I graphed the circle, I graphed the line I just came up with, and there's the two points where it intersects the circle. So now we just got to throw that into the distance formula. So uh, x, or x2 minus x1, so 45.29 uh, minus 14 squared. I'm going to run out of room, folks, so I'm going to write it this way, plus... Um, let's see, what is it? 21.176 minus 48 squared. And then I'll calculate that, add that all together and take the square root and give me a minute here and I'll, I'll calculate this. So I got on my calculator, I got uh, about 41.22 miles is how long they'll be able to listen to this. So that's this distance here. Okay, so nothing wrong with using tech to solve these kind of questions. That's what I'm trying to get at. So these are things, well, <laughs> the thing I give the Oxbow students, they don't have these notes, or maybe at one point in time they don't have these in notes. You guys have these. So these are just some odd exercises from the section, from the textbook, and they tend to give people a hard time, so I thought I'd walk through some with you. So I know, I know, so what do I have? I have uh, seven two. so... That centers down here. And then they told me it passes through negative 10, 0. So I'm looking through that Just I want that circle, kind of an ellipse, but it's a circle. What they didn't tell me is they didn't tell me the radius. So I need to find the radius, and that's going to require the distance formula. So 7 minus minus 10 squared plus negative 2 minus 0 squared, and then I'll take the square root. So 17 squared plus 4, because negative 2 squared, let's see, 17 squared is, what, 289? Let's see, 17 squared, that 289 plus 4 is going to be uh, 293. 
So I know the radius is 293, the square root of 293. But because the formula asks, tells me to take the center, substitute the x in with the x, substitute in the y chord into the center with a y. Whoops, why did I write 4? Plus 2 squared. And then I'm going to square the radius. Well, if I square the square root of 293, I just get 293. So that is the equation of that circle that passes through the point negative 10, 0. I'm just looking at the dates when I printed this. I just printed this off this year. That was right before, not too long before we went out on a, on a, the COVID. What are the kids calling it? Co-vacation or corona vacation, corona vacation or something like that. Uh, so anyways, I've got uh, these two points. Two, six is about here. Eight, ten. Eight, ten is about up here. I'm just making this up. And I know those contain the diameter. So I don't know the center, nor do I do the, know the radius. But I can find both because the midpoint will be the center. And their distance formula, half the diameter will be the, be the radius, right? So... Um, midpoint formula, if you don't remember this from geometry, is we'll take, you add the x's, divide by 2, add the y's, divide by 2. So that's going to be what? 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. I could almost believe that, something between 6 and 10. And then if we wanted to find the radius, let's see here. Well, I guess let's just do the distance formula for 5, 8, uh, 2, 6, and 5, 8. We could find the distance formula, use the distance formula for those, and then cut it in half, but it might be easier just to do this. So let's see. 5 minus 2 squared plus 8 minus 6 squared. You can take the square root, so that's going to be 3 squared plus 2 squared. So 9 plus 4 is 13, so the square root of 13 is the radius. So x minus 5 squared plus x minus 8 squared equals the square root of 13 squared. So there's the equation of that circle. Then for this, I think that's the last one here. Uh, they want us to find the y-intercepts. So... I know I have the circle that has this equation, x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals the radius squared. And if I'm looking for the y-intercepts, x will be 0. So that'll become 4 plus, now we're going we're gonna to foil y minus 3. So y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals 9. Got another quadratic equation so y squared minus 6y plus 4, because the 9 plus 9 minus 9 cancel out. And uh, that is not going to factor. There's no way I can multiply to get 4. Two numbers you can multiply to get 4 and get negative 6. So I guess I'm going to throw this in the quadratic formula. So x equals 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 4 times 1 times 4 all over 2 times 1. Uh, I guess I should be saying y, not x, but you get the idea. So 6 plus or minus the square root of, let's see, 20, that's 16, 36 minus 16 is 20 over 2, and 20 we can think of as 4 times 5. So that becomes 6 plus or minus 2 square root of 5 over 2, and we can factor out a 2 out of everything. So, oh, that didn't slide, did it? Oh, well, I think you can see it. So, uh, 3 minus root 5 and 3 plus root 5. And those are y's. So, we know x root 5. So, those are the y coordinates. And you can certainly throw that into Desmos and see if those the decimal values agree. Well, I've got these. I've got these exercises, so we might as well do them. Uh, let's see. So we've got a circle. 
with the center at the point 2, negative 3. Remember, we got to change the signs. So 2, negative 3. And remember the 9, 9 isn't the radius. The 9 is the radius squared. So the square root of 9 is 3. So that tells me, that tells me, let's see. Here's a point on the circle. Over here at negative 1 is a point in the circle. Over here at 5 is a point in the circle. And then we'll come down 3, 1, 2, 3. And we'll try to sketch in a circle as best we can. I don't really like my circle here. But you get the idea. All right, so we've got, we have got a circle that's x squared, got an equation of, let's see what, x squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 9. And we have this equation. It's kind of like that transmitter problem, isn't it? So x squared plus, let's see, y is 2x plus 5. So 2x plus 5 minus 5 from right there, from that minus 5, right? Squared equals 9. So that's going to become x squared plus 4x squared. You're okay with that? Because the fives cancel out, then I'm going to square the two and square the x squared. The square of the x equals nine. So that's five x squared equals nine. We'll divide by five. X squared equals equals. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Nine over five. Take the square root of both sides. So plus or minus. Now they're saying in the first quadrant. So I guess I don't need. I don't need to worry about plus or minus because if x is negative, it's not in the first quadrant. So x equals uh, the square root of 9 over 5. Now, I could clean that up a little bit. Uh, I mean, I could write it as 3 over, root, 3 over root 5, rationalize it. I could use decimals. I don't know. Uh... I think I'm going to leave it this form and see what goes on with it. So now they want the coordinates, right? So I got to find a y value now. So I've got I've got this equation here, right? That isn't that an equation for y? So instead of going back and having to use the circle, so it's two x minus five, two x plus five. So I'm going to do two times. You know, I'm going to do this. Uh, so the square root of nine is. This is going to become 3 over root 5. So 3 over root 5 plus 5. Uh, so that's going to be 6 root 5. Remember, because that's over 1. Plus 5. Uh, why not just leave it? Why not just leave it like that? I mean, we could make it a decimal. Uh, so what is it? It's 3 over the square root of 5. Boy, what a messy value. Not rationalized or anything. But that's the place in the first quadrant where that line intersects that circle. 